Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Reef Guru, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, this is a follow-on to the previous videos I've made on uh, how to make a recording sign for all YouTubers. And if you're watching this, uh, maybe you're a, a YouTube video recorder or producer, and I think this is going to be valuable for lots of people. So what you see here in front of you uh, is actually the uh, um, Eclipse client that I use to program the Node MCU devices that I talked about in the previous videos. So um, I'm going to real quick uh, just uh, select the project. I think it's all good to go and um, make sure it's compiled, which it appears to be pretty good. Yep, awesome. And then I am going to upload it to the uh, Node MCU. What you'll see here is um, from the previous video, I have it all installed. Um, hopefully you can see the little blue light here is blinking. That means that it's uploading. And um, you can also see here in the console that it's telling you where it is along the way. So I'm going to switch real quick over to uh, this uh, cool terminal, which is a just terminal program. And I am going to connect to the um, to Node NCU and what it's printing out here is actually just some debug information telling you that it's uh, loaded the, the configuration, it's dumped the configuration so you know what that is. Um, it's connected to my Wi-Fi and uh, basically just announced the fact that it's ready to go. So uh, this is awesome. Right, so uh, I've already preset the channel information here to the new channel that I have uh, for this particular uh, application. I'm going to show you real quick. If you are in the terminal program and you press return, it's going to put you into what is known as command mode. Uh, this is where you can change the settings of the actual hardware so that it can respond to different things. Uh, you can change uh, the node ID, which we'll get to that in just one moment. Um, the number of LEDs you have in this case. Uh, I have it set to four, which is one, two, three, four. That's what I have. We're good to go. Um, the server ID, uh, server IP, which is the IP address of the MQTT uh, broker. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit as well. And then the uh, Wi-Fi information. And then the uh, this is the MQTT channel information. There are four channels that the, uh, the device actually listens to. Uh, one being what is known as the all channel, uh, which is the channel it listens to when you want to send a command, a broadcast command to all of the nodes that you're running. Um, in this case, we're only running one, so um, we're just going to use the all channel. There's no reason to specialize. Uh, if we had more of these, uh, you could send uh, commands to all of them at one time, or you can send commands to individuals. Um, the registration channel is just what you saw here in the uh, here where it says that it's uh, announcing its presence. It's just basically telling you that hey, I'm here, I'm alive. Uh, that's for a central controller to listen to to say hey, a new new new, new node has popped online. Uh, node channel is if you want to target a specific node, um, and you'll see here the format is very straightforward. Uh, the registration channel just says that hey, it's reg, reg reg um, and it's node one. The what is known as my channel or the node channel uh, just says that uh, this is uh, node one, and then a response channel is uh, resp one as well, which is also equivalent to the node ID. So um, in this case, it's very straightforward. The rec is just the pre uh, the prefix that I give. Uh, for this particular um, example, you can do anything that you want. Um, these are all completely arbitrary except for the, the number here. Um, if you were to change the node ID, it's going to look for a number on the end here. It's actually going to go from the last slash and try to replace it. So um, highly encourage you to keep the node ID and the numbers here the same or just stick to the, the all, all channels perfectly fine. So uh, if we scroll back down here, uh, node channel, uh, pretty straightforward, and response channel. So we are going to uh, save this by hitting E. Uh, configuration has been saved, and then we are going to quit. 
Uh, tells you to cycle the power. Um, that's just a safety per, uh, measure for me. So you'll see here that it flashes kind of a, what I'll call a medium fast uh, blue LED that's embedded on the board. Uh, if you see a flash that is about twice as fast as this, that means that there's some issue with either the Wi-Fi or the connection to the MQTTQ. Um, the easiest way to debug that is just to plug this into the serial port and then uh, look at the cold term here uh, or your whatever terminal program you're using. So I am going to disconnect real quick, connect again, uh, yeah, clear. It's going to show the output. Uh, it's got a solid blue light while it's, while it's loading. It does a quick flash of the LEDs, just tell you that everything's good to go. And we got the kind of what I'll call the heartbeat, the uh, boom, boom. Boom, boom, yeah. All right, uh, that means we're good to go. Uh, and you remember the, uh, the front panel we have here? Uh, we are going to stick that on there in just a moment. So I'm gonna switch over to a thing uh, which is known as Node Red. I've actually created a quick program here um, in Node Red uh, to show you what we're, what we're doing here. So, um, Node-RED is a Node.js uh, derivative that makes connecting and sending commands to MQTT super, super easy. Uh, you can Google if you want some details, of tutorials are fantastic. So I've actually created a custom uh, Node module here uh, for sending commands to the Node MCU for my particular format that I'm using. Uh, it's out on my GitHub. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, so what we have here is just an inject command which tells me to start uh, the strobe uh, which is really a command for flashing on and off different things. So what we've set it up to be is uh, we want to repeat it 10 times. Uh, if you don't want to repeat a specific number of times but you want to run it for a particular duration, you can set the duration. Uh, those are mutually exclusive. Um, if you set uh, one, you need to unset the other basically. Uh, in this case, we are going to flash on red, uh, which is FF0000, or red, green, blue. Um, and then we're going to turn it off, which is 0000, which is no, no color. Uh, you can set these any colors you want if you want. Uh, on time, 250 milliseconds. Off time, 250 milliseconds. Uh, we're going to pause uh, 5.25 seconds and so the reason we're pausing 5.25 seconds is we are going to repeat this command uh, 10 times each time is 250 milliseconds so 250 plus 250 is 500 times 10 which is 5,000 which is 5 seconds um, and so if you had an extra 250 millisecond delay you get uh, 5.25 seconds uh, that should give us some symmetry. Uh, the timing isn't uh, terribly precise, but it works well enough. Um, then once we uh, pause for this while it's strobing, uh, we're going to fill with a solid color. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this with red um, and click OK. And then we are going to pause for five, five seconds and then we are going to return to the strobe and it's just going to repeat the command. So you'll see here, um, as I was moving things around, uh, the deploy command will turn red when you want to deploy a new command. Anytime you move anything or make any changes, the deploy command is going to turn red, uh, which is telling you that you made a change to what's on the screen. Um, if you just move things around, you don't need to redeploy. Uh, if you set a setting, change a setting, obviously it would work. You can see here, um, I've set the command here, or the topic, uh, which is record all, which uh, again, switching back to our cool term, you'll see here, record hall is a channel we're listening to. Uh, so these need to be the same, uh, absolutely, or your uh, node MC will not receive your commands. So we will just real quick deploy because I'm a little OCD about it. Um, so I'm going to take this, the cover, just slide it on and show you, I am going to click inject. We'll hold this on here. I'm gonna click inject and with any luck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Little pause, a solid red for about five seconds. And then it should boom, 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 repeat. There you go. Uh, I guess, uh -huh. 
There you go. That's probably a little better. <laughs> uh, trials and tribulations of YouTube. There you go. So what this is telling you is uh, we are recording and we're good to go. So I will show you how how neat this is. Uh, so we haven't changed any of the software on the actual device. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to real quick go into the strobe command and we're going to strobe red and we're going to strobe blue. Red, green, blue. Um, so it's going to go red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Um, and then we're going to fill it with green. X, zero, zero. Uh, red, green, blue. Um, again, we haven't uh, changed any software, haven't recompiled anything per se. Uh, we just created a new script here. So we're going to hit deploy. Uh, I'm going to pull this right back up. This is all done in real time, by the way, friends. Just want to tell you that we are going to click eject. Red, green, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and then we're going to go green. There you go. Um, it's that easy to configure this. Um, I think the combination of this Node MCU running over Wi-Fi and with uh, uh, Node Red, it's super powerful, super configurable. Um, and you can imagine if you had lots of LEDs in here, you can do lots of interesting things. Um, and I'll show you something uh, uh, real quick. I'm going to get a little crazy here. We're going to uh, create a whole new uh, thing here. We are going to delete all the rest of this. We are going to change this into a rainbow. Uh, we'll leave the default setter settings all the same. We are going to deploy this. And you can see we are still flashing as if the previous thing was there. But instead, now we're going to go into, uh, we click the rainbow. And what you can see is it is slowly fading across the different colors of the rainbow. Um, so there's lots of different options you can use if you want to do this. Um, my personal, one of my favorite is a fading rainbow. We're going to change it now, deploy. We're going to inject. And there you go. Now with only four LEDs, it's not terribly impressive, but you can imagine an entire strip um, of LEDs. It is slowly fading across the different colors. Um, I'm sure it's going to be saturated there. Uh-oh. glue fell off. Uh, we're going to have to get better glue up there, huh? Alright. Again, trials and tribulations of being a maker. We'll figure that out. Um, you can see how it fades from different colors back and forth. Uh, very straightforward uh, in my mind. Um, there's probably 100 million different ways to uh, configure this. Um, that's just what I've done there. Uh, now, something to note here, by the way, this uh, this script that I'm running here is completely independent from this script. Uh, so you can just turn around and inject this script and back to where we started. Uh, nothing's changed. Uh, we want to switch to the rainbow for whatever reason. We click inject a rainbow, and there you go. Now you got your rainbow. Um, now you'll see a little nuance of the program here. The, in the original script is still running while the rainbow is running, so it's getting a little confused. Um, but uh, just something to uh, consider there. All right. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, as always, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all the views. And um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I appreciate your time. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.